Locked up, Georgie and Connie are rescued by George and Dale. Meanwhile, Sheldon and Missy support their mum as she's shunned at church. She feels the Lord is walking away from her. Now single, Connie finally gives in to Dr. Linkletter whilst George confronts Brenda over hiring Mary. With Sheldon mentioning their money problems, Missy gets a job at the comic book store. With Mandy falling short on her power bill and rent, Connie offers her a place to stay whilst Sheldon struggles with forming an argument on ethics, wanting the absolute correct answer. With Mimor letting her down, Missy goes to Mandy for boy advice, whilst Billy makes Sheldon question the existence of Zero during a tutoring session. But Billy calms him down by suggesting they just simply pretend Zero exists. Connie wants to expand her gambling back room, buying the video store connected with Dale. Meanwhile, George and Mary uncharacteristically get on, with Mary admitting that she wants another baby. Wayne's marriage is over, forcing George to step back into the coaching role. Mandy, meanwhile, discovers Connie's gambling room. Taken by Georgie's commitment to support his incoming family, Mandy sneaks out his room after spending the night. Together, they bump into Mandy's parents. Georgie gets on surprisingly well with her dad, her mum, not so much. Searching for a comic book, Sheldon offers to create a database for the comic book store, leading to an idea for a database for scientific grants, meeting with President Hagemeyer. Hagemeyer presents a contract whereby the university will own 90%, with Dr. Linkletter also trying to get in on it. Frustrated, Sheldon decides to go solo searching for private investors. Pastor Jeff takes issue with some of the rentals available in Connie's store, but he backs off as she threatens to reveal he and his wife's rental history. George is mad with everyone crediting Pastor Rob and his prayers for the team's winning streak instead of his training and coaching. With Sheldon's age holding him back when meeting with investors, he goes to a familiar face for help, Gary O'Brien. Amber flirts with Georgie at the store. Mandy encourages him to pursue it as he's not tied down. He admits his complicated history, but she too is complicated, going through a divorce. Mary joins Brenda on a night out with friends, finding out she has a secret man she won't tell anyone about. Sheldon discovers the university has continued their pursuit of his database idea without him whilst Missy lets it slip that she knows about her dad and Brenda. George assures her they are just friends. In a bid to help them reconnect, Mary invites Mandy's mother to help plan her baby shower. Sheldon stumbles upon Paige at a party next to his dorm room. Following her to another party, they find Missy. Both Sheldon and Missy worry about her, as it's clear she's still struggling. On the day of Sheldon's database launch party, Mandy's water breaks. With Brenda's help, they get her to the hospital, but Mary finally realises who her mystery man is, her own husband. Georgie arrives late to support Mandy as reality set in. They name the baby Constance. Not receiving a single subscriber to his database, Sheldon struggles with his failure, whilst Missy continuously feels left out herself. Having had enough, feeling forgotten, she packs a bag. She steals her dad's truck, calling Paige to join her on a road trip. They're quickly pulled over by the cops, however, and picked up. Mary quits her work, fighting with Brenda. Meanwhile, Mandy wants to do something for Georgie's birthday, but he's already got plans with Amber. That night, though, they break up, as his priority is his family, proposing to Mandy. She says no frustrating Georgie, while Sheldon searches for alien life with Dr. Prakash. Seeing Sam work on her grad school application already, Sheldon feels he's falling behind, blaming his mum for coddling him. Missy sets him straight, however. He's worried about going from child genius to genius. Dr. Sturgis presents him an offer though, there's a summer research program in Germany waiting for him. Missy befriends Pastor Jeff's niece, Tonya as Sheldon attempts to convince his parents to let him go to Germany over the summer, but they can't afford it. Tonya leads Missy down a darker path, 
drinking and smoking, staying out late, with everyone around town hearing of a potential summer with no Sheldon, donations fly in from the university and the church. Preparing for his summer away, Sheldon catches Missy stinking of cigarettes. He tells on her, worried for his sister. Georgie admits his frustration with being strung along constantly by Mandy. She says she's all in, agreeing to marry him. Missy refuses to speak to her brother before he boards the plane. He admits he'll miss her, but she returns his walkie-talkie. Visiting her parents to break the news, Mandy discovers her friends and family all believe her to be married already, a lie told by her mum to save the embarrassment of the pregnancy. With a storm brewing, Pastor Jeff discovers the gambling room while seeking shelter. On the way back home, the storm worsens. George covers his daughter, terrified. As it blows over, Missy breaks down, apologising for her behaviour of late. Connie finds her house in ruins. Seeing the devastation, Pastor Jeff promises he won't do anything about what he saw. She's been through enough. 